Hello everyone, uh, we are back here uh, making new gameplay videos. Uh, today, uh, because of some interesting controversies surrounding Metroid Dread, um, I decided I really wanted to have the fox, my wife, say hello fox. Hello. Um, try out Metroid Dread for herself. She has played, I think, Super Metroid once for about 20 minutes, decided she hated it, and never went back to it. I think you beat the Chozo statue in Super Metroid, and that was about it, if I remember correctly. So, you're not a Metroid fan at all? No. Okay. So, yeah, going into this, you know nothing about Metroid except what I have um, probably talked way too much about Metroid. And you're definitely not used to the type of game that it is or anything like that. Correct. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna uh, play through this. Um, she probably won't continue this unless she just really likes it because this is an awesome game and it totally should have won Game of the Year at the Game Awards. Um, but, but it did. No, it won Best Action Adventure. Um, which it definitely is, uh, but it should have won Game of the Year because it totally deserves it and it's an awesome game. Um, so yeah, uh, whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, first it's going to give you just some background on Metroids, X Parasites, things like that. Basically. A bio weapon? Huh? Yeah. They drain inner life energy out of beings, so they're exceedingly dangerous. Oh, okay. And look, vaccines, because those aren't a controversial thing right now. <laughs> to be fair, I wish vaccines worked this way, because then we would all have superpowers. <laughs> That, you know, I would be always pro-vaccine if it meant I got, like, x-ray vision, flight, that sort of thing. We're going to give you this bird vaccine, and then you'll be able to fly, and you'll no longer get avian flu. Sweet. <laughs> Deal. And don't the X just kind of look so cute? You kind of just want to hug it and then die. You say I call weird things cute. <laughs> they're like all... Yeah, they're kind of cute looking. Especially when you see them later. They're like a rainbow flying thing of gelatinous death. That mini troll was way cuter. Razor Final sharp Fantasy. teeth aside. Final Fantasy XIV in Walker. Yes, you. there's a side quest with a little tiny troll. She says it's cute. I think it's cute until it smiles and... It just shows rows and rows of razor sharp teeth. I'm like, that thing's about to eat your face. And the Emmy. I love the Emmy. No, hate them from what I've heard. Yeah, those people are insane. These things are awesome. And, like, they give the game its it, that feeling of dread. So, yeah, it's... I'd say it's it's fitting. There is one criticism I have about Metroid, and it's how they name planets. They need a better creative team on naming the planets. Not a fan of ZDR? What does ZDR stand for? Uh, Zephyr Draconian Rabbits. Rabbits. <laughs> Zephyr Draconian Rabbits. 
Would a draconian rabbit be bigger or smaller than a normal rabbit? Bigger, of course. Bigger, right. Breathe fire. Yes. Make the one in Monty Python look tame. There you go, exactly. I'm copywriting that. It's a new animal. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Zephyr part? Wind magic. Wind magic. Oh, great. That's how they fly. Exactly. Just all of a sudden there's this puff of air. And <laughs> <laughs> flying rabbit with horns. This opening cutscene is pretty. We are lost assets with care, lady. Oh, cool. And yes, I, I don't know if you remembered me watching playing Metroid Other Rim. <laughs> I'm sorry, yes, I haven't played that. Um, the uh, Adam was Samus's old commander when she was in the Federation military. And she quit because he let his brother die and she wanted to go save his brother and he wouldn't let her. Um, and now he he himself sacrificed himself in Metroid uh, Other M to save Samus, and now is back as an artificial intelligence on her ship. So are you saying Adam or Atom? Adam, A D A M. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains useful. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, get made in contact. Any objections, lady? I don't know why, but hearing her called lady just this sounds so weird. That was kind of the thing with him. Um, he called her lady. I, I want to say in, in the Japanese translations, he did it primarily to annoy her, but also to kind of show he had some respect for her and her abilities. Um, in the American translation, it, she liked it because, you know, she was so tough and he always compared her to something. Other M, I think, had translation issues, not as much as a lot of other issues. She trained Samus into a whiny teenage girl. And then sometimes it might go. Am I winning? We're totally winning. Yes. Actually, Sam was kind of holding her own for a while there. And then she pisses him off. Let's see, he looks like a plague doctor. <laughs> he does actually have a beef so he is burned. Well, I understand Plague Doctors had that whole thing going on because they put, like, filters all up and down that thing. Herbs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. To keep them from getting sick. Yes, the Plague Doctors from the past weren't actually birds. No, they were not actually birds. <laughs> <laughs> and because my wife is awesome, she got me the collector's edition of Metroid Dread for Christmas. Which birthday. Has, birthday, that's right, birthday, thank you. Uh, which has all of the concept art and everything, which is really cool, seeing some of the new designs they have for a suit. Okay, so yeah, I would say um, take a minute uh, in this room, get used to the controls, run around a bit. Um, what is that? That is the counter move. It will actually tell you how to use it um, a couple rooms in. Okay. Um, if you hold the L button, not the trigger, um, she'll like get a laser sight. Uh, go ahead and there you go. And you'll stand, she'll stand still now when you move the left control stick, but she'll aim in a 360 degree manner. So that is a very, that's a good thing to have. Um, and then right now, if you hold R, you'll fire missiles. Um, so if you hold the L button and the R button, you'll fire missiles doing that. Um, and then you have your just normal fire with Y, B is jump, and A is counter. I like that B is jump. That's normal. <laughs> so yeah, 
Free and move. She will grab onto the edge of the platform if you like that. There you go. Whoa. There you go. Hey, you I can see you just figured out something, it will never tell you in the game, and that's the wall jump. Okay. Yeah, you can shoot those blocks too. They'll reform afterwards, but like a white block like that, um, is that you can do it with your normal blaster and all that. I'm more worried about the uh, potato creeping up the wall. <laughs> was about to
grapple beam and stuff like that. gaining skill.
perfectly honest. I think it's. Uploading data. If any you encountered were clearly trying to capture you, they may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to as any send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Upon detecting vibrations, an enemy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of an enemy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the M to survive. You must leave its range of pursuit. If ABME and it will descend an enemy never leaves its assigned zone, their control system must for I estimate a 99% probability of death if and there may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this the enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your, your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. Alright. And so, something to take away on this, what it just said there, if you get caught, it's virtually you're gonna die. Don't get frustrated. Um, if you go into an enemy zone, you're just gonna have to brave through it, is basically what you have to do. And find your way out. And if you get caught, well, try, try again. Oops. Say it again. Just added five seconds onto your timer. And that one's close. Yep. And, uh, that one's broken? Very broken. Um, that's actually just a different kind of door. You need to do something else first to open it. Good game. Oh, fantastic. 
Yeah, you got the right thing, you're just not hitting the right spot. There we go. Brain explosion. Just, just blow anything up, whatever you want. Hmm. You will be able to get those later. Oh. But you can't right now. And nope, yep, that has to be one. Uh oh. Yep. Second time. Alright, bring it on, Ugly. Uh, if you keep an eye on your mini map, it will show up as a red dot. Yeah, I can see him. Okay. Well, wait. What's the point of that? Well, just to get that statue, I think, if you want it. Hmm, what's this? Um, oh, it didn't tell you. Uh, that one restores ammo and health. Red ones restore ammo, purple ones restore health, and the yellow ones restore ammo and health. I know it's hard to hear because we have the TV so low, but that chirping, that means it's in the same room as you. Sparkling of its arm. Okay. It's its arm first and then its face. Eyeball. Just thing. punch it in the face. She actually does kind of this badass kick. I just went into a normal circle. You might have. That room does happen. Great. I finally got around it. Oh crap, where is it now? <laughs> now it's following you. Oh my gosh, it missed you. Run! Run! I made it through here without it actually detecting me, and then I ended up going in a circle. Like, what is this? You need something else to get that out. The only place I know where to go is back to the beginning. Um, you want to stay lower than that and keep going left. There is a way out, I promise. Uh -oh. Just go left. Go left, quick. Run. Ah. There you go. There you go. Fire. Sorry, I should have told you that. Oh, door! <laughs> My door, door! Good Fish. job. You made it through the empty room again. The little clam chart. Yes. Pretty much everything in this wants to kill you. 
even the little jellyfish things. Something for a swarm? Um, you'll get something later that works really, really well. I will say missiles, though, are not a bad thing to use on little swarms like that. There's a box in there. Come on, take this climb. There are, um, and even rooms like the, the map rooms that you'll find here in a little bit probably, uh, the, the data rooms where you connect to Adam, um, they are also safe rooms. So pretty much any room that has a special function also functions as a safe room. Hey, what you doing, pal? What you doing? Flying around the little circle. Whee! Yes, that's what Samus, Samus the uh, badass bounty hunter always says when she slides down something. Whee! We all know it's true. Lots of clams. Kill the clams! There you go. This ones have that nice explodey effect. Yep. I've watched one guy um, who plays this, and he's like really, really good. He's, I think he's uh, one of the people in line for like the world record of the whole game. Um, he can fire Samus's blaster so fast, just with his finger. He's not like, at least he claims he's not using an auto fire button or anything. But he can fire it so fast that missiles are completely meaningless to him. Amazing if he really is doing it with just his finger. Potato is back. It is, but now you can get up there. So at least it gives you a, a hint of the layout of the whole thing. Down, apparently. Down it is. <laughs> you can get back up there. about this game is if you see an item that you can't get to, it marks it automatically on your map. Hmm. Puzzle while I'm being chased. While you're being chased, exactly. Iffy. Button. Button? Not a button. Whoa! It is a button. No, I think that. Ah! Eh! You're supposed to keep going around. You don't know a button. 
Wouldn't it actually be a really smart robot because it kind of called as we were trying to make it move? Oh dear. Ooh, good appointment. Don't praise the robot! <laughs> yeah, see, it, it hesitated there for a little bit, trying to, to, to juke you out. stuff at you. Not bubble. There you go. Nice shot. Good job. Damn. And did you see the door? Did I see the door? Well, I'm just saying, I'm guessing you noticed what's up with that door. This one? Yeah. No? Yeah. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Smoke coming out of it. Good job. one use again? No, no. This is uh, a permanent upgrade. Charge me of doors. Spin jumping. That sounds fancy. Uh, it just means like when you jump while moving and she does that flip. That's what it's talking about. Is the same thing? Yeah, just a little wide. There you go. That flash kind of of light, of light is what um, tells you that it's fully charged. So it's not as big or excited as the other one? No, it's not. But it is still very useful. And it does actually more damage than a normal missile. It opens up several doors that you could not open. Hey, look where we are. Hello. Here we go. You gonna try to kill him? Nice job. Fire! 
Oh, you did that really, really fast. Yeah, just like immediately after you had to push the Y button. There you go. Good job. See, you've already come along a long way on this than when you first started. You say so. I, I've not seen a lot of improvement. The first time you took out that enemy, you jumped down there instead of using the targeting aid. Um, yeah, you're doing good. Alright, well now we're done. Yeah, close door. Alright, you Oh good, more snot blowers. And a frog? What was that? I keep seeing these weird things in the background. Yeah, kind of like a deer thing. PlayStation, PlayStation Go. I wonder if there's a way if I could get this to play on a PlayStation controller if you would have better, better luck with that one. Mm. You again. It's not, well, technically it's the same one. <laughs> it's really? <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't even know she was there. expected to just walk blindly into me. Neither did I actually, although I have never just stood there before. I've always shot it. I guess if, it, if you don't shoot it, it technically never knows you're there. <laughs> That's funny. There you go. See? Another improvement. Potato. <laughs> nice thing about those potatoes, you can actually run up and counter them and just hit them with the counter, and uh, it'll damage them enough to kill them. Hmm. Alright, I'm just going in circles. You're, you're doing fine. Oops! Remember, this, the is, wrong button. this is Metroid. Backtracking is a staple. Now you are backtracking with an item that you did not have previously. Yeah. Where to go? That is the question. Oh my God, that's what I was trying to do when I was dancing around the potato. <laughs> I do. I I will admit, um, save points in this are great, and the checkpoints are actually really, really good too. It'll checkpoint anytime you're about to enter an enemy zone, um, or anytime you're about to enter a boss. Um, only once have I not saved and lost progress because I went through an enemy area got out of it, and then I died. And it, instead of putting me back at the checkpoint at the beginning of the enemy area, it put me back at my save point. That only happened to me once, so. I'm sure it's friendly. It looks friendly, doesn't it? Let's name it Steve. Steve is my name. You can't use Steve. Steve is not your name. Your your name is Fox. 
I mean, Steve is a name I use for everything, therefore you can't steal it. <laughs> tentatively reach out to try and see if you were there. It's kind of what it felt like it was trying to do. Yeah, a little early. That, that was, yeah, it was close. Those things kind of hurt when they come down. No. Denied. Whoa, bones. Well, that's kind of creepy. Creepy crawlies. <laughs> okay. Okay, I know where I am. Yep. Not hey, look! <laughs> I opened a part of the ceiling! Congratulations! You're smarter than some game developers. Alright, Squidgy. Oh 
Their, their timing can be a little difficult to get down. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and stop. We're right at an hour. Um, you did really good. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. Um, that, that was a great first run. Um, yeah, you, you figured out some stuff about the enemy. Your, your platforming skills, I think, have already leveled up, let's just say. Um, just watching you in the beginning and where you went and how you, you learned the, the wall jump and you actually used a different path the second time through uh, that area you were going through that you're backtracking through that you didn't the first time. You started, you were learning how to use the laser sight um, on how to find things. Um, and, and I'm curious, did you notice the points where the game actually locked you into an area when you needed to figure out, figure out a new mechanic or something? I don't think so. Yeah. I could have, I counted, I think probably around five where you literally could not move forward or you couldn't go back without figuring some stuff out. Um, so yeah, you, you did really good, and it's just a testament to how well designed the game is. Um, no, I think you did good. Um, what do you think? Do you think you would like to come back and keep playing? Sure. Okay. And then we can continue the series if you like, um, next time. What about Z Room? That was it. The one where you shot the ceiling, like, oh hey, I found a path. Oh. That, that was the room. That was the room, okay. That was the, the vaulted room. And you, you figured it out all by yourself by doing exactly what the game designers assumed you would do. Shoot at the thing trying to kill you on the ceiling. So, yeah. Congratulations. All right. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we'll call it here. Uh, everyone, you all have a wonderful time. And uh, next time we upload, we'll be continuing Metroid Dread with the Fox playing through her first Metroid game.